as an Igbo man, as a businessman, I have kids, four children, so I shouldn't come out here to vote. At the end, somebody will shoot me because I wanted to go and cast my vote. So that statement alone went viral and everybody saw it. So you don't expect me to go and cast my vote at the, on the process, somebody will break my head. There's been public threats from pe uh, people like MC Oluomo towards the targeted towards the Igbo voters that if they're not vo voting for a particular party, they shouldn't come out to vote. What do you think about this? Yes, that's treason. He should be arrested. The hoodrums came to attack us when we are having principal uh, voting. Uh, they said that we should not vote, that we are not sort of the soil, that we're not supposed to do anything in this land, that we don't have right to do anything, that we are slaves in the land. For Suru in general, I don't think that we comply with such. Um, it, it all concerns every ethnic group. My neighbors stayed at home this time around because most of them are Igbos. And even just now, after I voted, one even called me Awan Newi. And I'm not even Igbo, to be precise. So the way he even said, like, no matter how plenty you guys can be, it cannot be more than us. And I'm still right here in the polling unit. So definitely for people who are scared about their lives, it, it's definitely possible for them not to come out to vote. After 9 to 10, we started voting peacefully. Suddenly, some guys came, about five of them. And before we knew it, some others came from here. And they started um, shouting, breaking bottles, throw bottles, and people ran away. They said nobody will vote here, that they have sacrificed here, that we are strangers in this land. The way they threw bottles in houses. In fact, there was one guy that came to confront and they beat the hell out of the guy. And before we know what was happening, the INA people pack up, say that they are going. I cannot judge that because I heard the threat. I read it on social media. I watch the video on social media. But I'm outside to cast my vote. Nobody, I repeat, nobody can stop me to cast my own after to who I want to cast the vote. So I don't brag here about the, the threat. I can't go to pulling units to cast my vote for my choice and somebody will be telling me whom to vote for. It doesn't make any sense to me. As of, as of today, I went to even cast my vote at Fadi across there. So after the credential of 18, I went to go to just vote and they asked me to vote for APC, which is not my choice. And you can't force me to vote somebody that is not my choice. I have to drop the two paper to them and leave for my life to be at safe. So um, I'm a PC member. I can never be intimidated and I believe that this is where I work and this is where I live and this is where I build my own house. That is why I fully support. I'm an I'm Igbo woman from, from two Yoruba and Igbo get back to me, so I'm Yoruba and Igbo too. Much people threaten Igbos because after the selection, when it's coming, you still need them. So you don't need to cause violence. I think according to the Electoral Act Section 20, either 20 or 22 or so, I mean exact about that, it states that any undue pressure on any voters, that the person is entitled to three years in jail or I think a hundred thousand naira fine or so, that is a serious offense on the democratic state of the nation.